Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. I'm so excited. Today I'm going to be administering my first bag change on the channel. So excited to have you guys see what that looks like. What that looks like for me, what that entails. As you can see right now, my bag is sort of lifting up. It is wet because I just got out of the shower, so I am about to change it and clean that up for you and show you what that looks like. Right now, I am getting the flange out. I am also going to get myself a barrier ring right now. I am also going to pull out my garbage bag and the new Ostomy bag that I'm going to replace uh, my old one with. So now I will be getting my squares of paper towel and I will get my baby ointment cream for the zinc and I will also need some stoma adhesive powder. We are going to be measuring my stoma uh, once I get the bag off. I like to use this chart to ensure I'm using the right size bag and flange to protect my ostomy. Here I have a pair of ostomy scissors I use to cut uh, flanges as well as my paper towel squares. Here I have my ostomy support belt. I won't be using it this time, but I generally do. I now have the clamp closure I'm going to place on the end of my bag just to keep all the stool nice and in. I am going to get my stomach cleaning station together with my paper towel squares. I'm going to set up my garbage now and I am going to pre-open my barrier ring, get the packaging off of that. And you'll see that I didn't need the scissors because my flange is already pre-cut to the 35 mm that I need it to be already. I am so excited now, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna get some water on one of my paper towel squares here. I'm just going to get it uh, wet with warm water and I'm going to slowly start removing the bag. So as you can see now, I am getting the bag slowly taken off. I slowed the section down just so you guys can see how much care I put into removing the bag just so I'm careful not to tear my own skin. I am also not worried about Bert um, taking a shit on me everywhere just because I'm kind of more equipped at handling him and I know what times he poos and I'm careful not to eat before I change him. As you can see here, I'm getting ready to clean around Bert. I'm just getting some water and a lather of a mild unscented soap I like to use to clean the area on bag change days. Whether that be every four or five days, it doesn't matter. I am always using this process just to keep the skin around my stoma as clean and healthy as possible. I do find uh, sometimes it does get dry and itchy and irritated, but uh, with this cleaning every five days, it does really, really help uh, prevent that, most of that. And I do have skin barrier wipes. I personally do not like to use these wipes because I do find that they burn my skin and I don't really like that. It feels very uncomfortable for me and for Bert. So I just use my method of the soap and water. Once again, I am going to be repeating the process just ensuring that I am securing Bert in a warm paper towel just in case he does decide to poop. I am also just going to create another lather with an unscented soap 
just to ensure I am removing as much adhesive as possible. Um, adhesive remover wipes are also a great alternative to this. I have just run out of them, so I find that using this method and my fingers to just peel off the excess adhesive has been working. It has also gotten me to itch a bit of the skin that has been under there and dying to be itched. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you the Stoma Adhesive Powder and Zinc Oxide I use just to help with the skin irritation. Right now I'm going to show you how to measure your stoma. I'm just looking to ensure that I do have the correct size, which is 35 mm. I am going to see it here and it looks about right. There's enough room around it. I'm also going to show you how gross it still is, even though we cleaned it so many times. Here I am going over it again with the soap in the water just to clean it trying to get all the adhesive off i cannot believe it's still stuck on there but yeah uh just try to get it as clean as possible hooray it is time to get my new bag on I uh, was just testing out the flange to make sure it still fits. I'm going to be attaching my skin barrier. It's easy to manipulate and I'm going to manipulate it on the back of the flange here just to make sure it is wide enough as the opening so that it doesn't pinch my stoma when I place it on. Everything looks good to go here. It looks like it is forming to my skin and fitting securely on um it doesn't look like i will need to apply heat just to um absorb the adhesive uh, because it's sticking by itself and i am placing the bag over bert and i am so excited because for once and two bag changes it's sticking i hope to bring you guys more ostomy content and more ways of how i care for birds soon <laughs> Thanks so much for watching.